Hello everyone, Aaron here again from ASM Computing. This is the tutorial I was going to show you on how to actually install TeamViewer. Um, once you've downloaded it, which I hope you already have, um, I've actually got mine downloaded here. So I'm going to show you actually how to install it. Now, any time I install a program, no matter what it is, I always right click and run as administrator. This way it doesn't give you any conflicts with the program and it will always run as it should. So once you select to run administrator or you can just select run, um, yeah just click on the run button. I'm just waiting for it to open. I did actually have this on here previously which I showed you in the first video but I actually uninstalled it and downloaded it again just so I could install it to show you how to do it as well. Um, basically what you want to do is leave it as the install go next. Now here as I was saying in the first video, you don't want to click on both of the above or the company, just click on the personal non-commercial use. Sorry guys, my sort of keeps falling down a bit. Um, select that one, then click next. Here you want to select both of the little boxes. This is just obviously as it says here, the license agreement. Um, I've already read through it before so if you want to read through it then feel free but after that you just need to tick these two little boxes and then click next sorry guys I've just got this come up again hold on now here I, I don't actually do the start automatically with Windows I just leave it as normal installation default. Um, basically all this does is as it says at the bottom if you was to put in a password and confirm the password um, basically every time you go to use this program you just reuse the same password over and over and over again. but as so that it's more accessible for people to hack um, and actually get into to control your computer so I just leave it as normal installation so the password you get will automatically change every time you open the program up so just leave it there as normal installation default and click next um, this one so just leave full access recommended go next now just let it install and just click finish Now you can see it's opened up and if you watched my first video you would have seen that I had a different number and a different ID. Um, as I say there was no no uh, product key I had to put in. Um, I will close it for you. There's 9099 my password which I like to connect now. No. Just to pre-warn you. Um, once you have actually used this you will get a few of these little boxes come up which is just asking you for a newsletter and that I'll just close that down for a moment I'll get rid of that as I don't need that anymore and as I say once you actually open it up again you will see that the password number would have changed from 9099 and now I've got 5803 
So as I say, I would recommend this program as you're not actually giving out any of your personalised information, or sorry, personal information. And as I say, that number always changes every time the program is opened. So it's very unlikely that this program will get hacked when you're using it, or anyone to actually use this program to control your computer while you're not using it. Ok guys, well I hope this helps, and as I say, if you get any problems, just go back to the first video, and you'll see my email address there, just give me an email address, uh, sorry, just send me an email, my apologies, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Ok guys, well, hope this helps, and I'll speak to you soon. See you later.